Hey, what's up guys? So, super short video. I really don't like the boot pads. I hate using a piece of wire and jumping that across the two pads. I also, this is a little bit better. I take a jumper pin and two servo pins, plug them in, and then I use that. But I really hate doing that, especially if my fly controller is inside of my build and I have to take the top plate off just to get into the boot loader. Fly controller started like adding in these buttons which I think is great and awesome, but what I do is, if my flagging chore does not have one, I add it in myself. So, here is our little button. You can buy a pack of a hundred of these off of eBay for like six or seven dollars, and they will last you forever. Some flag controllers already have a little bit of solder on the boot pads. If not, then you can put a little bit of solder on it. I take the button. I don't know if you can see this, but there's two little tabs if the camera will focus there's two tabs on the ends I just take the button and bend those pads in I try to make them like face you know bend them underneath the button then use the pliers to get them nice and flat and there we go now the tabs are bent underneath the button Once you get one side soldered on, the other side is going to stick up, so I just use the, uh, like a screwdriver or something to press down on the entire button, and then solder it that way. And now, our flight controller has a button. How do you know if it works? Most flight controllers, when you plug in a USB, you will get a red status light. But if you hold in the button, or jump the boot pads, then you should not get a status light. So, mission success. Check the description below for links to the buttons and other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.